Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for this video today. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel or have never seen my videos, my name is Amanda Gonzalez and I'm a school psychologist. I work in an elementary school and I just wanted to share a quick little idea, um, some helpful ways for organization, some simple ways that you can kind of reinvent the use of certain materials that you might have lying around your classroom or that you might purchase soon as we get ready to head back to school. Um, and also some ideas in how you can incorporate social emotional learning into some fun little game activities for kids to do. So this is an activity that I'm currently working on. Um, I have a Teachers Pay Teachers page. It's called School Psych Manda G, all one word. And um, on that page, I post a lot of activities related to social emotional learning. Um, so there's different things such as self-esteem, growth mindset, pre post test activities, um, things related to some popular books that a lot of teachers use where I create some quizzes and some reflection activities for students to do. So definitely check it out if you're looking for some fun ways to incorporate SEL in your classroom. But today I wanted to show you how to take some simple dollar store finds um, at Target or your local dollar store. Some of these items I purchased at uh, Michael's craft store in the teacher kind of back to school section. So kind of some classroom staples or essentials that you most likely have lying around or maybe need to purchase to kind of keep in your um, in your desk in your office or your classroom is a hole puncher. So this is a single hole puncher, obviously, and this was I want to say I want to say a dollar. It was definitely under three dollars at Target. I purchased this today. I also purchased this today at Target. This is in their like little bargain bin section uh, right when you walk into the store and I love using these and I have a bunch of these at school but I needed some for an activity that I'm working on currently at my home so I purchased these and they were also only a dollar which I thought was a really great deal and I also love the fact that it's a fun kind of blue color which is nice. Um, I per or This I actually purchased at Target as well. This was 99 cents. It's a little simple pencil box but I'm planning to use it for other purposes other than <laughs> storing pencils. This one I purchased at Michael's craft store and I believe this was also 99 cents I want to say and um, I kind of help myself because I think this is the girly part of me is it was glitter it's green which is if you follow me or are a friend of mine or know me green is my absolute favorite favorite color on the entire planet. I'm not even slightly i'm majorly obsessed with the color green and it just makes me happy so i had to purchase that and then these are a bunch of erasers that i actually purchased from target so in the target again the bargain bin section when you first walk in the school um the store they have tons of different kinds of erasers and these are great to have and keep on hand for obviously when students need erasers you can use them as incentives motivators uh, rewards for kids but i actually purchased these with the intention of using them for other purposes such as social emotional activities with students for gameplay activities uh, sometimes when you purchase like games that you might download from Teachers Pay Teachers, board games that you kind of print out, sometimes you don't have the game pieces to go with them and or you might have board games and you lose the game pieces. So these are nice to have and the nice thing about them is they're super cheap. I want to say they might be like a dollar and you get a ton of erasers so i purchased a couple different packs and of course they're fun for the students as well and then this is an activity that i'm currently working on it's a social emotional learning activity um based on the game tic-tac-toe so what i did was i created a few different board games and i sized it down so that it's small it doesn't take up too much space but it's big enough so that two kids can play together which is nice and i just made them fun so i created different backgrounds um, like celestial, outer space themed, kind of a watery themed one, uh, purple ones. So I created a few different ones. And then these are some sets of cards that I created. So this is the first that I have and I'm planning to create more. So this is not yet posted on my Teachers Pay Teachers page. But once I kind of finish creating the sets, I'll be sure to post it and share out on my Instagram page, School Psych Amanda G when they're ready to uh, download if you're interested in purchasing these. So this is a tic-tac-toe game and the first card just explains kind of the directions for the students, the layout of the game, how it works. And I also offer some tips for the students, so social skill tips, like make sure to make eye contact, use the other player's name so that they know you're speaking to them. And obviously the most important rule, just make sure you have fun. So 
with this within this activity um the purpose is for each game you would use one set of cards so you would take your um, little board game and then the two students are playing so whoever's birthday is closest to the date that you're playing the game so whoever's birthday is closest to today would be the player that gets to go first then they're going to pick their game piece so you would have them pick five of the exact same pieces so there's mermaid pieces i have some rainbow pieces unicorns there's some outer space pieces and they would pick five of the same piece and then those would be the pieces that the players use so to store it to make it a little easier i stored it in one of these little um kind of gift bags uh these bags you can purchase these at the dollar store target i'm sure you can find them michael's craft store so the students would pick their pieces and then when it's their turn for tic-tac-toe they would just put their piece down and then the other player puts their piece down and you kind of just continue the game but for the game the students would have to read a question so they would pick one of the cards to play with and then they ask the question to the other players so what does it mean to be kind then the other player answers once they answer the question then they can put their game piece down and pick a question for the other player so it's a nice way to build social emotional skills and this is such an easy way to incorporate gameplay something fun into something that's also meaningful and educational and the cards they focus on different things so there's some cards that are more focused on things like growth mindset some cards that are focused on things like kindness um, emotions so talking about your feelings this one is more focused on grounding or um, kind of whole body movement activities to get the students kind of moving around so doing 10 jumping jacks five wall pushes try standing tall stretching down and like doing some toe touches so I tried to focus on a lot of different areas for social emotional learning and ways to help students practice these skills and conversation skills but so what I did kind of for some organization tips is I printed my cards, I laminated them so that it would be, you know, extra durable. So I, I have my own little personal laminating machine and I just ran these through. Um, I ran them through twice. So once I put it through the machine, I took it out from the other end and just ran it through one more time to kind of ensure extra durability and that it was fully sealed around the edges. Then I cut the cards out. And then what I did next was after I purchased my hole puncher, I punched a hole in the top left corner of each card. And then using my new little dollar, dollar finds, I put one of the rings through it so that it holds all of the cards together. So as I make the other card sets, I'm gonna do the same thing, laminate and hole punch them. And then what I'm doing for the organization part of it and to kind of make it easy to store, easy for students to access, is I'm actually going to be taking these little dollar ninety-nine cent pencil cases and those are going to be my storage cases for these. So I'll just stick these in there. My um, game board game piece of the tic-tac-toe cards, those will be easily stored in there. And then I'm going to be able to easily store my game pieces, so the little erasers that I'm using, and now you have an easily stored, all the game pieces are organized, they won't ideally hopefully get lost as long as the students make sure to be responsible and put them back, and you can just tuck these away, store them, you can make more than one game, stack them, store them in a corner, in a bookshelf, in a little bin that you have in your office or your classroom, and it's just a nice simple way for students to have some fun if it's indoor recess or during maybe a center time. If you have these specified to different centers, you can easily store them this way. Another awesome idea, if you're in a building that does zones of regulation, you could purchase these in the different zones related colors, create your own little games that are, are you know, correlated to each zone, put them in there and then just store those away. Obviously, you can also incorporate academics, so you could make little math games. I could maybe create some cards similar to this for tic-tac-toe that have math equations on them so addition subtraction multiplication or division and do the same exact rules but just obviously change it to math related and the students would have to answer the math question maybe to make it easier on the back you might want to print the answer so that that way they can kind of verify and make sure that it's right or have them if it's with a calculator have them the extra challenge could be they have to check the partner's work and make sure that they answer the question right however you obviously wish to do it but 
I just thought this was a cute, simple way to make a fun game for students and kind of use some cheap little finds that you come across at your local Target, Dollar Store, or Staples, you know, whatever store it might be that you have near where you live. So I hope you guys found this little tip helpful and interesting. Again, be on the lookout for those social emotional activities that I'll be posting soon on my Teachers Pay Teachers page. I'd love if you come follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers and Instagram. Both accounts are School Psych Manda G, and it's all one word. Um, but I love to share ideas, book recommendations, games. I also share ways that you can take some simple toys like Legos or blocks, puzzles, and kind of incorporate that into social emotional learning. So some easy ways that you can incorporate social emotional development for your students in the classroom or your children at home. So thank you so much for watching and please share a comment if you found this helpful or if you have other ideas for how you use these little pencil boxes. I'd love to get some other ideas as well. So I hope everyone has a great afternoon and take care.